Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you a profit or loss update on the buy and hold strategy versus the Q Coin Infinity Grid Bot strategy, which is a challenge I basically launched a year and four months ago due to all the buy and hold trolls saying that grid bots are a waste of time and you're better off just buying and holding. So, with that in mind, let's get right into the numbers. And so we will start with the buy and hold strategy. You can see back on January 11th, 2022, I invested $500 into BTC, which equaled 0 0.01170066 BTC. You can see all the transactions down here below. And when you add it up, that $500 equaled this amount of Bitcoin. Now, in order to see how that investment is actually doing or the buy and hold strategy is actually doing, we can jump back over here to KuCoin and under my main account where I actually hold assets I don't plan on trading, I can give that a click and that will bring up the list of assets that I'm holding in this account. And you can see that BTC amount of 0 0.01170066 is still being held in this account a year and four months later. Now, if we zoom in, you can see the value of that Bitcoin that I bought back in January of 2022 is only at $353.67 or approximately a 30% drawdown in one year and four months since the original investment. So with that in mind, let's check out how the grid bot has been performing. Now the infinity grid bot over here on KuCoin can be found under the trade tab. Scroll down to trading bot, give that a click. That will bring up the KuCoin trading dashboard for their bots. And in this case, we're interested in the infinity grid bot. So if I give that a click and then scroll down, you can see I have that infinity grid bot trading BTC USDT and my original investment was actually $500 but it shows 512 and that is due to the initial grid bot I deployed January 2022 ended up locking up and I had to shut it down and redeploy it at the time that grid bot was up $12 so I ended up reinvesting the $500 plus the $12 profit Fortunately, the entry price was still around that 42.7 amount, which does match the average price for the buy and hold strategy of around 42,700. So at the end of the day, the entry prices still work out to be pretty much the same. However, what is not the same is the total profit or loss. In this case, the total profit for this grid bot right now is a loss of $51 or just around 10%. So the grid bot is down 10% where the buy and hold strategy is down 30%. Now, part of the reason why the grid bot is outperforming the buy and hold strategy is a grid bot produces profit as the price fluctuates between your upper and lower limits. And in this case, the grid bot has produced almost $30 worth of profit versus an unrealized PL of $80. So essentially, if you subtract the grid bot profit from the current loss, you end up with a total profit or loss in this case of around $51 or 10%. So at the end of the day, even a grunt can understand the math that the infinity grid bot is down 10% versus the buy and hold strategy down 30% and the grid bot is winning the battle. Now, with that all in mind, we can take a look at the details for this grid bot and how it's actually operating. In this case, it has 20 open orders, 10 buy and 10 sell. And at the moment, its Bitcoin position is 0 0.008. And so the grid bot holds a little less Bitcoin at this moment than the buy and hold strategy, but it still has a reserve of USDT of 212 USDT that it can reinvest if Bitcoin's price drops. And so the infinity grid bot will buy more Bitcoin as the price of Bitcoin goes down versus the buy and hold strategy, which invested all 500 USDT upfront. 
Now on the flip side, the bot also has 10 sell orders and it can actually take some profit if Bitcoin's price continues to go up. And so it will take profit on the way up and that is how it's generating the grid profit. Now, if you're not familiar with how a grid bot actually operates, it's extremely basic. It buys low and sells high. So when the price is going down, it's taking out open limit buy orders. And when the price goes up, it's taking out open limit sell orders, which are represented by the red and green lines you see on the screen. And then there's a space between each line, which is essentially a percentage or a grid space percent, which would be your profit on the way up. And so at the end of the day, the ideal price action is choppy price action where the price is dipping and ripping back up like you see here on the screen. This would be ideal price action for a grid bot. You're looking for volatility. And so with that in mind, the Infinity Grid Bot has those 10 buy orders to if the price dips and it has the 10 sell orders for when the price rips back up. Now under the parameters tab, you can see my lowest price for this grid is 18.5. There is no high price limit. That is why this is an Infinity Grid Bot. It will continue to follow the price up. Again, the entry price was at 42.7. Grid spacing or the profit rate per grid, I have set at 1%. So the spacing between each grid is going to be 1% for this particular bot. So to quickly recap, the buy and hold strategy is currently down just around $150 or 30% versus the Infinity Grid bot, which is currently down around $51 or down around 10%. And with that being said, even you grunts can understand that the Infinity Grid bot is winning the battle and at the end of the day, it will more than likely win the war. But for those doubters out there, I will continue to do these update videos. So you might want to go ahead and shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have questions, comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.